Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Perspective. There's across the board unequivocal condemnation for what happened uh, to former Prime Minister Imran Khan Saab. And uh, of course, uh, across the board, we've seen the government also condemn it. There is a call for investigation. We also saw um, a presser by Saad Rafiq Saab. We saw Kamal Zaman Kaira. We saw Rana Sanaula. The ministers talk about uh, maybe a JIT to be formulated. And across the board, acceptable um, investigation into the incident is what is called for. But of course, in terms of tolerance, um, intolerance that has seeped into politics, what we are seeing at this time, we'll be talking about uh, the kind of dialogue that is needed at this time uh, to uh, overall diffuse the situation, uh, the kind of remarks that have been made, the kind of uh, atmosphere that unfortunately we are seeing at this time pursuant to this very very sad incident uh, that happened um, as far as the former prime minister is concerned we'll be talking about that there is also of course uh, like Kamar Zaman Kaira said as far as um, a dialogue that is needed uh, for there to be in politics which is always uh, the talk which is always needed in politics for there to be some kind of uh, move towards a Pakistan which is not um, leading which is not uh, uh, in, in the kind of uh, news that we are seeing at this time the kind of signal that this sends out internationally um, into the world and uh, the government has uh, of course asked for um, an unbiased investigation. We'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about the overall ramifications of intolerance in politics and what it can mean uh, for overall uh, Pakistan and uh, for across the board political parties. All of that today um, on Perspective. I have with me Dr. Niaz Murtaza, who's a senior analyst. Um, Naveed Aman Khan, who is a senior analyst, journalist. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will also be joined by uh, later on in the course of the program and uh, we'll talk to other senior journalists also. I'm going to start off with Dr. Niaz. Uh, Dr. Niaz, of course, you know, there's no, I don't think there's any two opinions on uh, the fact that, you know, it's it, on condemning what's happened to the former Prime Minister uh, Imran Khan Saab. Um, in terms of what's happening at this time, in terms of the call for the investigation that we are seeing, um, as far as the government is concerned, they're, they're, they're quite clear on the fact that there should be investigation on this incident and whoever is responsible uh, should be taken to task. But the overall situation that we are looking at at this time, what is your analysis, of course, uh, of what's happening, um, incitement to violence, which is of concern at this time? Nasab, can you hear me? Please unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me now? Thank you. Gigi. Hello? Gigi, I can hear you. Okay. So, uh, you know, the first thing to do is to, you know, condemn it, uh, whatever happened yesterday, whoever has done it, we don't know. But, you know, there is no place for, you know, this kind of violence in... Uh, uh, a politics for whatever purpose it was done, whether it was due to you know religious beliefs, as the person is saying, or whether it was due to any other you know uh, calculations. The first thing is to you know condemn it and also be very thankful that uh, you know it did not result in more uh, casualties and something more serious to Imran Khan. Obviously, you know he's one of the prime uh, uh, politicians in country and if anything worse had happened as we've seen in the past happened to Benazi, to Murtaza Bhutto, that would have been really tragic. So obviously now, you know, the task is to, you know, really try to find out who did it and bring mm -hmm. them to account. And uh, that's where, you know, things get uh, uh, problematic because there is so much lack of trust uh, between the parties that it's difficult to see how, you know, a neutral objective inquiry can take place. Obviously, you know, if it's something done by the federal government, the PTI will not believe it. If it's something done only by the Punjab government, then, you know, the federal government may not accept it. So I think the way forward uh, is to, you know, for them to find, uh, form some sort of a joint investigation team, which includes, you know, investigators from both the Punjab government as well as the federal government. And, you know, uh, go forward, you know, appoint one or two even neutral persons, people with good mm. credibility, 
who can ensure you know a neutral investigation obviously recognizing that even such a panel would really struggle because you know these kind of things are so secretive but uh, you know that's the immediate thing and then the other thing is for all parties to make sure that you know they bring down the temperatures in the country already we were dealing mm. from you know mm. our uh, sharif uh, 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 death in uh, kenya and you know hot in heels of that even that thing is still a mystery what happened to that and now you've had this incident so you know obviously mm. this is going to whip up emotions in the country and you know it's especially important for pti to keep its worker calm because you know i've seen a video tapes of senior pti members talking about revenge and so on and i think that's very uh, unfortunate so everybody should look to you know keep things calm hmm. let me come back to you i'm going to go to navid sahab ji navid sahab uh, pursuant to this incident we've also heard different statements come out we also saw the prime minister say that they will extend the government will extend all support um you know overall the ministers who spoke also echoed the same statement uh, there doesn't seem to be any two opinions on what happened but in terms of trying to at this time you know grapple with the situation in terms of of course ensuring that investigation takes place where the incident took place who was responsible for security uh, why was there a security lapse if there was indeed a security lapse all of those things are important for the investigation um and for that investigation to move forward of course there are also questions being asked as to why you know as far as the FIR is concerned all of those things so how do you think things will pr- proceed from from this point on uh, considering of course that you know now the incident has happened we have to ensure also that maximum security um, is provided to the former prime minister henceforth also all of those things and well uh it was an uh, unfortunate incident mm. and uh, we all condemn this incident in fact it should not have uh, occurred like this mm. uh the former prime minister imran khan uh, he has all already been uh, provided the best of the security mm. by the government of pakistan and uh, eventually uh prime minister he enjoys his government in punjab as well so the incident it took place in punjab wazirabad it was the prime responsibility of the government of punjab mm. to make it it uh, show uh, so that the incident should not have uh, occurred mm. uh, but anyhow um, this unfortunate incident it happened uh, but it doesn't mean that we should use our nerves uh, we are a nation and we behave like a nation the politicians all the politicians need to behave like politicians uh, yes it is unfortunate but imran khan should not um, uh, immediately blame uh, the prime minister or the federal uh, uh, institutions uh, because you know uh, um, a statement a uh, statesman behave like a statesman um, i i don't think that uh, um, uh it was let a delicate let, let, let me take this to iftikhar sahab we have with uh, with us uh, iftikhar ahmed sahab who's a senior journalist i'll come back to you iftikhar sahab as far as uh, can you hear me yes i can hear you roaring yes yeah. iftikhar sahab as far as the statement you know overall the statements that have henceforth come after this uh, you know of course condemnable incident per, uh, of the former prime minister is concerned um and the way that you know we have seen things shape up um what are your thoughts on the overall scenario and and you know of course in this time to deal with the situation um of course you know it's a political party and we've we've had across the board condemnation from all political parties but sentiments of everyone um you know of course uh, are are to be taken in accord but at the same time making sure that peace prevails sanctity of the country overall the situation in the country does not get out of hand in any shape manner or form all of those things are important do you agree uh, i agree with your hmm. statement hmm I agree with you. I agree with your statement. I, I don't have to repeat all those uh, uh, words which you have used. Hmm. I agree. Hmm. I can't. 
Iftikhar sahab, okay, you know, of course, you agree, uh, you agree with what I'm saying, but I'm saying that overall, as far as our politics is concerned, there has to be, you know, you, you, it now, I think there's a time for all political parties across the board. Um, to, come and, to come and sit down in the assembly and mm. uh, let's resolve the issue within the parliament. Mm. And outside the parliament, it, it will be a very, very stupid mm. uh, approach uh, from all the mm. parties. Mm. The parliament is meant to resolve the issues mm. and we are facing a, mm. a trouble. We mm. must handle it properly, otherwise uh, things would be out of control. If the Khazab, what about taking a step back from issuing inflammatory statements? Issuing, you know, because things the at other this party, time, the other party ha is has been playing on those uh, inflammatory statements. They will continue do, doing so. You can't stop them. Hmm. You think that you think that there's not going to be. This is not a time for introspection. This is not a time for all political parties to, like you said, for them to be... It is not a question of all political parties. It is a question of the one political parties who is uh, mm. attacking everything now. Mm. The parliament, the election commission, mm. the, the army, the other institution of the country, mm. they don't underst understand that they are playing with the fire. Mm. It will burn them also. Mm. The fire will not... Uh, decide who's with the A and who's with the B and who's with the C. The fire will be fire. So, in, in your opinion, do you, do you feel, do you think that that is, that may be um, a course that, that will be followed? Do you think sanity will prevail? What's your opinion overall? Sure. As a sanity general? should prevail. It's hmm. a federation. Sanity should prevail. Everything is but, happening in hmm. Punjab. Hmm. They are trying to destroy the this entire fabric of the society in Punjab. If the Khalsa at the, this time, we've seen the, the government from, make an offer of a JIT. We've seen, you know, a high-level JIT, which is acceptable to which should they be. They are not. Should, they they don't want anything. Yesterday we were having a discussion, and they were demand. They were saying that from Khatma Jina onwards. Everybody was killed and uh, all the commission could not uh, give us the positive response. Mm. So I asked which uh, uh, country should intervene. They don't mm. uh, want to even the name of the country. Mm. Are they asking no, uh, from the UN no, to come forward and uh, intervene in this case? If the Kharza mob justice is something, what, what are the options at this time as far as the, the government is concerned? mob justice will destroy the very fabric of the state. Hmm. But I'm, you know, in your opinion, what are the options available for the government other than making this offer, other than trying to ensure that investigation takes place, which is unbiased? Um, they, you know, must, it, it, they must trust the institutions. Hmm. They must trust the institutions. If they believe in democracy, hmm. if they are contesting election, hmm. if they want to come into the power, hmm. they have to admit that there will be a requirement to do it. And the requirement is NFIR. And then there is a prosecution. Why is, in your opinion, there not been, why is there a delay in the FIR? Um, why is there... I have no know? idea. It, it is between them and the Punjab government. Hmm. It is none, It is neither your business nor mine. Hmm. It is the it is the state uh, has to decide it. And, and when I say state, I mean the Punjab government. Hmm. Let the Punjab government decide. Do you you think have to you have to go along with the law. Hmm. Even for hmm. the medical report, even for the medical hmm. legal reports, hmm. Hmm. even for the FIR, the incident, hmm. where it hmm. took place, timing, how many uh, uh, fire was shot, direction, people. Hmm. Look at the old uh, the man who was there, uh, hard worker uh, from uh, Baroti, the village uh, in that area, Vizirabad. He came to the uh, uh, procession along with his children. He mm. died. And the, those ch uh, ch children were uh, weeping. They were asking, uh, Baba, Utho, Baba, Utho. Can someone tell me who, who killed him? 
is there, is there any inquiry started so far? Do you know any report about that killing? He was also a, he was a human being shot dead publicly. For God's okay. sake, make this country a viable country. Make this country a peaceful country. Right. And for everyone, for poor, Very for rich. True. Very true. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your valuable time, Iftikhar Sab. Thank you for being with us. Jeej, Nya Sab, uh, coming back to you, you heard, I hope you heard what uh, Iftikhar Sab was saying. He's talking, I mean, when, of course, we all, um, we've seen, uh, you know, we've seen different uh, political leaders uh, talk about, uh, you know, the, the common man. We've seen the way them talk about justice. We've seen them talk about uh, the course of law and how it should take its course. But when it comes to, of course, he is a, by no means an ordinary man and there are sentiments of a lot of people attached to the former prime minister. There's no denying that. But where does, you know, like uh, if the Kharsab is talking about Muazzam, the man who died, and I think that, you know, the question that needs to be asked is what about justice at this time? Uh, what it would mean for any common man, you know, the way that things would take it, the law would take its course, the way that justice would take its course. Um, should it take the same course or are things going to be different um, in this scenario? G. Well, obviously, you know, the rule of law should prevail in every situation, mm. you know, whether it's an mm. <coughs> ordinary man uh, who was involved or a big leader. But obviously, you know, the ramifications of an attack on a, you know, leader like Imran Khan are much more uh, serious. So obviously, you know, all uh, uh, related parties have to make sure that there is a thorough investigation because, you know, otherwise it's going to keep uh, flowing within, you know, the psyche of the people and it's going to, you know, affect uh, people's views and perceptions and the nature of our politics for a long time to come. So it's in everybody's interest that there is a thorough, neutral, and credible investigation which people would be willing to believe. But then, you know, that's the issue. Who will carry out that investigation? And we've never been successful, whether it was Benazir's murder, Murtaza Bhutto's murder. But isn't, so but isn't the question, are we going to, I mean, who is going to, again, like you are saying, is there going to be some satisfaction? Is there is there room for talking about uh, people that uh, the, the, the political party itself or the former prime minister would be satisfied to conduct the investigation uh, because there doesn't seem to be any headway there at all. And again, it happened yeah. in Punjab where the government uh, is primarily the PTI government. PTI government. So, you know, there is a security lapse issue. How could, you know, PTI as a party and the PTI mm -hmm. government in Punjab let its top leader be shot so easily? I mean, this wasn't a very well-trained person by the looks of him, uh, from the videos that have been circulated, somebody very poorly trained who thought, you know, okay, I'll just take a gun and he was able to slip in. And there was no security cordon uh, from what the media is reporting. So, you know, it's huge, uh, uh, you know, lapse on the part of PTI as a party and as a government in Punjab. Uh, but obviously they will not talk about it because, you know, see, that is the nature of populist politics. It's not mm. interested in rational discourse. Uh, what suits populist leaders like Imran Khan is chaos, controversies, conspiracies. So I don't think they will come around to having, you know, uh, something joint, sitting down with the government and trying to resolve this issue. They'll try to whip it up and use it as another ploy and another tool in their ongoing battle with the establishment and with the government. And, and they will hope that now people will come out because they've had very poor turnout for, you know, the uh, long march so far. And, you know, that's what they've been doing in the last 24 hours. Their leaders repeatedly exhorting people to come out. And, you know, he's given a very uh, charged up But uh, Nasa, there are obvious dangers of using this incident for anyone for political mileage. I mean, there has to be, there, there, again, you know, sanity has to prevail at, at some level at some time. Um, you know, and we have seen now for months. Uh, this uh, kind of deadlock, this kind of no dialogue uh, continue. Yeah, and that's what, uh, you know, PTS so this will continue for another 10 months. That's what they said very clearly just yesterday, you know, because that's the only way they can hope to, you know, either topple the government or win the next elections whenever they are held. To, you know, keep one controversy after another coming up, create anger, create dissent, 
and mm. you know try to win the uh, elections on that basis because they don't really have a performance to talk about and the mm. only way they can do it is by whipping up emotions anger within mm. the people so all of this you know fits in very well with their strategy and what the government can obviously offer them you know they should stay rational they should offer all uh, the facilities and you know uh, that are required for investigation and the other thing mm. you know the pti will try to bring you know people on the roads and they should try to you know stay calm not go over uh, board uh, the way they did on may 25th where there was overuse of force you know they should let you know the steam come out and let people see that it's P pti which is creating chaos on the road and the government is showing the strain if there is you know more uh, a crackdown on crowds and if somebody dies that will just play it on into the hands of pti and you will lead to more anger and dissent and frustration so it's important for the government to you know keep calm and don't use excessive force navid sir do you think that you know of course what should happen there's no denying of you know overall there seems to be an opinion about what should happen and i think that navid kamar uh, saab uh, um, you know kaira saab uh, very very succinctly summed it up when he said that as far as the you know there should be uh, politics needs dialogue we've been seeing for months and the political cost of it the economic cost of uh, this kind of upheaval in in the country at this time is huge uh when you know of course we are battling with multiple challenges on multiple fronts um there's no denying that and as a country we are dealing with uh, you know floods we are dealing with econ economic crisis we are dealing with you know pursuing to that inflation all of those things um there has to be do you think that there is a chance in your opinion um of that happening at all instead of the inflammatory speeches instead of the kind of incitement uh, you know inciting remarks that have from time to time come um is there any chance of uh, uh, you know a more rational a more uh, perhaps uh, a mature approach coming at all even you know in the wake uh, particularly of this very sad incident that happened yes of course we're suffering from uh, this uh, unfortunate situation since long and uh, it should have been done uh, like this in a country like pakistan we are uh, um, surviving in a polarized society mm. the politicians have uh, polarized the the political situation in pakistan mm. anger has prevailed everywhere and uh, the everything is, is it looks on their nerves uh, the politicians should be uh, should behave like states persons and uh, these and they are uh, they should be in the position to handle the situation the the enmity between mm. the among the politicians or among the the political parties uh, uh, is seriously damaging society and the country mm -hmm. the whole mm -hmm. of them is looking towards the politicians and the mm -hmm. politicians are uh, holding th their opponents from their collars uh, mm -hmm. i i don't think politicians they behave their children in the same way they are behaving the nation uh, in a, in a, in an incident uh what happened in wazirabad uh, was unfortunate incident but mm. uh, um, uh keeping view the uh, the sensitivity of the situation all mm. the politicians need to uh, cool down to give a very very decent very balanced statement uh, mm. statements and uh, uh they need to sit down for the resolution of the issues pakistan is facing very serious issues mm. not only in, uh, within the country but also uh, 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 with our neighbors recently um, the prime minister has uh, come right. from Let china ji we... continue navid sir ji let me let me come back to you we have with us zaid ghashkori who is uh, a senior investigative journalist thank you for being with us zaid sir uh, you've been uh, keeping a close eye on uh, whatever has happened pursuant to uh, 
um, the incident that happened uh, as far as the former prime minister is concerned uh, uh, how do you look at the 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 overall the development in what's happening um, in terms of uh, do you think there's going to be any headway in terms of the the, the FIR which uh, there has been a delay in do you think it will move forward what is your overall um, uh, opinion on the investigation the pace of it as far as the Punjab government is concerned as far as the security there the lapse of it all of that um. Uh, thank you very much, Maruk. Uh, uh, it's, it's no doubt that uh, tragedy avoided in this case. It's a genuine case, and uh, mm. it exposes uh, how political rallies uh, uh, look like. Uh, uh, you know, it's a violence prone in the country. Uh, mm. But uh, the tragedy with the political system and the party of PTI is that mm. it's a genuine case. And mm -hmm. it could not be registered so far because the reason and the demand, the former prime minister who was the target and is very lucky, he escaped this assassination. Uh, uh, he put forth three names, uh, which seem to be undo. You know, it's uh, it is not uh, acceptable not only to the government but also on the ground. In mm -hmm. in eye of law, uh, it doesn't look like that. Uh, uh, an FIR or the case could be registered against the sitting prime minister or the country mm. interior minister and uh, obviously uh, one star general. So it's, uh, the demand is quite awkward and this is the reason that uh, uh, the overall security, uh, mm. you know, by the Punjab government, it was the responsible. The Punjab police was guarding this march. Mm. More than 20,000 police personnel of 12 cities were engaged and uh, spending millions of rupees. So the government of Punjab obviously is uh, a part of Pakistan Tehrik Insaf and they are responsible to protect and give and provide uh, enough uh, security has, to the long Has long there been mark. any official statement that's come from the Punjab government? We know that uh, the Chief Minister of Punjab visited uh, the former Prime Minister to ask um, you know, to see uh, and how he's doing and all that, but there hasn't been a formal statement. Is it? Is it? Uh, am I correct in saying this? Uh, we have not of officially f uh, from the Punjab government. It's true that they both the Munisilahi and the Chief Minister called on Prime Minister today, uh, and obviously the um, ex Prime Minister also announced that uh, uh, again uh, he repeated uh, his demand a while mm. ago. Uh, which mm. is uh, obviously not doable at the moment. And mm. uh, it's, it's his only plan to just to make this incident uh, again uh, a political uh, mom political slogan Mileage. to go mm. with the demand for the mm. early election to keep people mm. mobilizing. But one thing is mm. more important that it's a genuine case. Uh, obviously, uh, he was targeted and uh, many people injured and they were lucky to escape and investigation could be hard due to this mm. attitude mm. by the party showing itself but uh, one most important thing is that uh, uh, otherwise as a reporter and journalist we were in the knowledge and uh, sort of information from different agencies that this long march uh, uh, were uh, 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 you know there was threat to this long march due to certain mm. reasons mm. and uh, they that's why but the Punjab government said, does it not raise questions about uh, you know this of course there were reports and I think the former Prime Minister himself has also admitted that he had some reports of there being threat to his life um, there's enough uh, uh, proof uh, about that I mean eno enough has been said about there being that threat uh, but in even in the wake of that kind of a threat th for there to be this kind of lapse um, as f and within Punjab you know uh, under the control of the Punjab government all of those questions um, and of course we've had I mean they, they will need to be answered isn't that true uh, one thing is more important that uh, one of Senator Ijaz Chaudhary of Pakistan Tariq in South, he tweeted publicly yesterday that uh, hmm. he was in a knowledge that uh, prime, the former Prime Minister would be targeted and hmm. this rally would be 
attacked yeah. by militants in Wazirabad. He tweeted mm. publicly this, and he mm. even said this that I inform a uh, PTI leader. Ahmed Chacha, who was also injured, he is in the hospital mm. as well. He said, mm. "I informed that they ago about this thing. It means that PTI top leadership uh, were in the knowledge of this. And why didn't they take such, you know, uh, uh, action or inform the government to avert mm. this tragedy?" But one thing is important: that it's responsibility of the federal government as well, and. Um, Uh, up across the party lines, almost all leaders condemn this attack because they have been. Zaid Sir, I want to, you know, I, w- I want your opinion on this, and I, w- I earlier asked uh, Nia Sab also. Um, as far as the, the the federal government is concerned, we have, like you said, we have seen across the board condemnation from all political leaders. There has been, you know, the prime minister has said very, uh, you know, he's tweeted that there will be, we will extend all possible help as far as investigation is concerned into this incident. What would you expect from the federal government, um, you know, as far as this incident is concerned? You know, what can they do other than moving towards investigation now, um, moving towards uh, finding, you know, nothing can be said without proof. There has to be. proof there has to be uh, you know there has to be a proper investigation into this incident um, so that whoever is responsible can be held accountable and that is what the federal government is saying am i right for the federal government obviously already announced that uh, they are ready to hmm. cooperate uh, with hmm. the investigation hmm. and they asked to probe this uh, incident as well and prime minister hmm. also condemned it uh, Mm. but one thing is clear that uh, punjab government is responsible to uh, that incident that's why now police is not investigating this case the counter terrorism department of uh, the province is investigating this and i think uh, uh, as a reporter i can say this just this uh, this is a high profile uh, attack incident and uh, Uh, there should be a special joint investigation team to probe this that uh, the suspect who was arrested and three arrests have been made so far uh, uh, there is an intensive investigation needed uh, because you know uh, it's an alarming sign uh, about the rally and long march and the pti continue to uh, go with this long march because uh, they have no political way otherwise and uh, Uh, in the future and near future uh, this rally there might be threat and there are already uh, such kind of findings by different agencies submitted with the federal government that uh, political ra- rallies are the top leadership of different political parties could be targeted by the militants so it could be the reason because you know uh, former prime minister chief protocol who was also targeted by ttp you know well it's uh, senator shibli fraud who is also the member parliament as well and ttp also claimed the responsibility and there was also report uh, we reported it as a journalist that uh, uh, the uh, former prime minister continues to hold for, for 45 private uh, security personnel uh, who are guarding him and uh, the different agencies uh, pointed out that uh, this private security itself a risk because a few of them were not well trained and uh, the four personnel also could not get their security clearance but they are guarding the house of uh, former prime minister i mean the benigala right. and thank you thank you zaid sir thank you for joining us thank you for your very valuable input i'm going to go to dr nayaz ji dr nayaz uh, in terms of strict protocols being in place of course he's a former prime minister um, who you know there uh, according to the government also uh, there was threat and uh, punjab government also like you are saying there seems to be an indication that uh, there were th- reports of a threat so you know of course security p- personnel um an unprecedented hike in security had been deployed um even in the wake of that kind of a security hike for this incident to take place of course uh, you know investigation has to take place an investigation must take place which is what the federal government is saying which i don't think any sane person uh, would say accord anything else according to the contrary but 
in terms of what the politics in this country is now, uh, you know, we are talking about um, a certain, um, uh, when you don't deficit of trust um, in institutions, when, you know, we talk about investigation, what, what can be done about that? What, what do you think is the answer then, um, you know, to, to that kind of a, of a, of a uh, deficit in trust um, and saying that, you know, there's no, as far as institutions are concerned, whatever they, we've seen the results, we've seen the former prime minister say things about uh, institutions, about investigation and his opinion about it. Well, I mean, you know, the, gov uh, the uh, federal government can only, you know, make this offer and it's quite mm. likely that the PTI uh, 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 and the P uh, Punjab government will not accept it and they may insist on, you know, uh, doing their own, own inquiry. So fine, you know, uh, let them do that. I uh, doubt if, the, you know, there is also is, you know, the issue whether, you know, it will be neutral or whether it will, uh, you know, that investigation will try to toe the line of the PTI central command. But, you know, let them uh, do it. I, uh, I doubt it if they would, you know, try to manufacture evidence against, you know, uh, the, anybody in the federal government. So let them complete their investigation and then see what they come up with. And if, if the federal government has any serious doubts about it, then, you know, they could, uh, you know, insist on, you know, having it checked again by federal agencies. Uh, but uh, from what I have seen so far, you know, there have been lapses in the investigation also. There have been these leakages, the video leakages of the uh, accused person. I don't know how they are finding their way into the media, who's leaking mm -hmm. them and why the Punjab government is not able to control them. Then I think the pace is quite slow. I would think that, you know, the container itself would be a central piece of investigation. And I haven't seen anything anywhere mentioned that, you know, the police has taken over the container to do forensic investigation because that could tell you how many bullets there were, which direction they came from, where did the holes appear. Mm -hmm. And so far, you know, we haven't seen very concrete information in this regard. So uh, let's see how, what the uh, Punjab government does. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, no, but Niyazab, who's I think, as far as the former prime minister is concerned, he, as far as his injuries are concerned, he's actually even shown um, X-rays of you know the injuries and and uh, the fact that you know there were four bullets and all of that, um, and I don't think anybody is denying that. But the question, and I, I think I want to move to Navid Sab. I'll come back to you, Navid Sab. You know, it, it seems to be uh, in his earlier uh, talk, uh, the former prime minister said that he wants to continue. Uh, the protest, he wants to continue the march after he's well. Um, do you think that this investigation, you know, in, in the meantime, of course, we will see investigation happen. But overall, how do you, do you think that this, this might result in, in, uh, in uh, the situation being diffused, the overall, um, you know, of, of things maybe moving towards a certain uh, rational kind of politics? Um, is there a chance of that, in your opinion? Um, well, uh, we all are praying for uh, um, a rapid recovery of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Mm. And uh, uh, everybody is uh, extending well wishes to him and the others who are injured, mm. injured in the incident. Mm. The uh, prime responsibility of uh, the Punjab government is to go for the fullest uh, level of investigations. Um, the Punjab police is there, they are competent enough and they can investigate the and probe up the incident. Mm. Uh, fortunately, the accused mm. is uh, alive and he is there. Uh, if mm. he had been, uh, he had not been alive, it would have been very difficult for us to reach the, the, the mm. actual view of the incident. But fortunately, he is alive and he is within the custody of uh, the Punjab mm. police. Uh, the federal government uh, uh, need to extend its cooperation to towards the Punjab, uh, Punjab government and uh, uh, to Imran Khan as well. Um, GIT should have been formed. Yes, mm. uh, um, uh, the, the the trust level should be improved, should be enhanced. Uh, politicians, in particular Imran Khan, should have trust in the federal government and the investigating agencies. Um, uh, I, I think uh, uh, the investigations will reach some conclusion, and uh, uh, they will they will leave no no mm. stone unturned 
Um, will, and and of course, it's it's a, a, a very high profile case that's likely to be a quick investigation, a thorough investigation. At least that's one, uh, you know, course. overall. Whether, of course, oh, Punjab I government, like you are saying, they may not be satisfied if they are not satisfied with the federal government, um, you know, as far as the Punjab government is concerned, where they are themselves. Um, very much in power, uh, the investigation can take place there and there has to be, you know, whoever they're satisfied by, the officers that they, of, of his own choice, can also investigate this matter and, uh, you know, we will see some, some findings come out and we should, of course, see some findings come out. Niasab, I, I want to ask uh, you the same question as far as uh, his uh, the former Prime Minister's assertion that he will continue uh, after he's well. Of course, he needs to get better. Um, as far as the protests are concerned, as far as the march is concerned, as far as... So in that would indicate that there doesn't seem to be at this time um, any kind of uh, agreement to go back into the assemblies, which is what, you know, was... Uh, something that has been talked about now and then um, as an alternative to this kind of politics that we have been seeing for months now? Yeah, I don't think there will be any immediate cancellation of the long march. The PTI will be hoping that, you know, the turnout will increase because of this incident. People will be more angry. So far, there hasn't been any indication of that. You know, the protests that they had in different cities, they were small and people went away. But I, I think uh, they're going to keep trying, even if you look at the 2014 Dharna, it went on for four months and it was completely when they, you know, ran out of steam and, you know, out of numbers at the site of the Dharna. And then, mm. you know, there was the APS incident that, you know, they mm. finally gave up. And then, you know, of course, uh, the uh, federal government gave them a space saving uh, formula of, you know, having uh, some sort of investigation into mm. the uh, rigging charges. So I think for at least a few more weeks into November until, you know, this appointment of the army chief is done. I think they will keep trying to, you know, push and push and push in the hope that, you know, they can generate enough uh, pressure on the government. But Nia, sir, what about, what about the, the political cost of this? What about the economic cost of this overall? Um, into, you know, as far as Pakistan is concerned, um, you know, again, as far as the situation is concerned, we talk about the Prime Minister's visit to China, we talk about, uh, you know, uh, the upcoming uh, potential for investment, uh, the, the fact that, you know, there are other pledges for some um, ca investments coming our way from Saudi Arabia, perhaps, all of those things, but in the kind of situation that we are seeing, um, it seems to be, you know, it's, it's going to sabotage, if, if this style of politics continues, it's clearly going to sabotage um, any attempt to, to have any kind of economic gains. Isn't that true? Well, yes, and that's what happened in 2014 as well. And, you know, that was a mm -hmm. deliberate ploy by the PTI. You know, the visit of the Chinese president uh, got delayed. The start of CPEC got delayed. And mm -hmm. all that, you know, PTI saw that as a win for it because, you know, if the government cannot show any economic gains, then, you know, mm -hmm. PTI can claim that it's a failed government. So obviously they are going to try that. But I think, you know, ultimately, if they run out of steam, it will be very difficult. It will start getting embarrassing for them. If the mm. TV uh, you know, shows show very few people there, people are not out mm. there, ultimately, it will get embarrassing and they'll have to throw in the towel. So I think it might take another few weeks, you know, the appointment. Do you think it's also perhaps, a, 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 you know, something uh, to, uh, for, for, to reflect on for the PTI itself? Um, Navid Sab, uh, as far as the PTI itself is concerned, isn't it something they need to reflect on in terms of the momentum, in terms of trying to get their people, their voters that they feel, trying to mobilize them? Uh, they may exceed uh, the kind of perseverance, the kind of stamina uh, that their support base, uh, you know, is, is likely to have. That Do you think that's also something worth considering as far as uh, the opposition, primarily the PTI is concerned? In fact, PTI... Uh, behavior or PTI's attitude has always been provoking. Uh, mm -hmm. They provoke their voters, their supporters to come out and uh, uh, go for the violence because uh, uh, they believe this. by this way they can generate pressure on the federal government. But I don't think this is a, a wise way to generate pressure on the government and uh, they cannot get anything out of it. 
the behavior of a politician like Imran Khan should have been very cool, very calm, very calculated, composed, and uh, uh, should behave like a statesman, a statesman, like a former prime minister, uh, a very serious uh, former prime minister. And uh, uh, he, he has the obligation, he has uh, uh, a duty on his shoulders to guide the nation, to, to, to uh, compose the nation, to cool down the nation. Uh, and uh, um, as a politician, I think we need to learn from Chinese politicians. We need to learn from the first word, uh, like Imran Khan has always been talking about uh, Great Britain and the West, the way they, the politicians of Great Britain mm -hmm. and West mm -hmm. be, need to behave like those politicians. Uh, the patience, right. the attitude. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Niaz Mutsa. Thank you for joining us, Naveed Aman Khan. Thank you for being with us today, Fakhar Ahmed Saab, Zayed Bishkori. Thank you for joining us during the program. As far as, of course, the overall situation is concerned, um, there's no uh, two words for the fact that, of course, this is an extremely sad incident and uh, across the board, everyone is glad that the former prime minister survived uh, uh, this attempt uh, as far as uh, uh, the incident that happened uh, is concerned and he is well, he spoke today. But overall, as far as politics is concerned, the next course of action is, of course, um, an unbiased investigation into the incident and of course we should uh, the government federal government remains steadfast in ensuring um, and extending all help that they can in trying to ensure that kind of investigation so that there should be um, accountability for what happened there should be um, an answer to who was responsible why was there a lapse and uh, whoever is responsible should be held accountable again but at the same time um, where our politics is headed is a question um, that i think has plagued the rational minds of this country for months now um, and whether there's going to be um, any kind of headway as far as dialogue is concerned which was something again um, the the uh, ministers that held the press conference today pursuant to this sad attack as far as the former prime minister is concerned spoke about there was also talk about JIT there was also again uh, talk of a kind of dialogue for there to be some kind of a working relationship so that things can move forward uh, politically so that uh, sanity can prevail so that there can be um, as far as followers of the former Prime Minister is concerned, as far as his political party is concerned, in trying to raise temperatures uh, to no end or to create um, any kind of, uh, you know, um, as far as the situation in the country is concerned, it needs to be a stable Pakistan for there to be any leader, for there to be any, uh, um, uh, any, any uh, opposi opposition leader, any other leader to talk about this country, to talk about our people. So, of course, Pakistan first and that kind of sanity uh, one hopes to see. Thank you so much for joining us today on Boston.